Serious kit for a serious helicopter, the total controls, MFD frames and desk mounts. As always, full disclosure, total controls sent me the units for free to review. Inside the boxes we have the base MFD frames, manual, metalwork for the desk mounts and parts for assembly. This includes card back sheets to give some life to the otherwise empty frames. No tools are provided, so you'll need a screwdriver and allen key set to do this. But you get a lollipop with each one. Obscure video game references aside, it's a nice little bonus for you to have as you put it all together. The desk mounts are the weakest part of the kit, feeling a little bit raw. Being simple metal construction and offering only two angles of adjustment, I struggled during assembly with the screws either not fitting or having alignment issues, but it came together eventually with a little patience. They can be fitted onto your desk edge easily, and in place they are secure and don't extend below the desk much. However, there is no tabletop mounting option. Despite knowing, I wasn't quite prepared for the sheer size of these. Each frame is scaled to one to one with the real deal, substantially larger than the Thrustmaster or Wing Wing's Viper and Hornet frames. It connects via USB-C, but the plug extends a fair bit below the frame, so I'd recommend you get a right angle connector adapter to neaten it up for wire management, especially if you're mounting it onto a monitor. Made of good quality plastic, each MFD frame has tactile clicky buttons, unlike the other frames which have soft membrane actions. In addition, the buttons are keyed with little extra markers on each side to help you navigate by feel, for example in VR. We've three dials, a brightness axis, video axis with centre detent, and a day-night mono free position dial. Of these, the brightness and vid dials feel a little lighter than I'd like, but the mode dial feels very solid. In the manual you'll find special commands, the frame backlight is adjustable by key combination, but the icing on the cake, you can actually adjust the hardware ID to left, right or centre without having to physically move your units should you forget which way around you mounted them last, with no hassle with extra software. TCS has built in Apache and CPG keybinds, making it a truly plug and play device, although Total Controls do also offer the profiles on their support page, allowing you to use the two in either cockpit right away. To get the most out of them, I would recommend mounting them onto a screen. I use Velcro myself, but you're going to have to DIY a solution as no official screen is available. With a display behind, it's easily far more fun and usable. However, to have this working, you do need to be comfortable creating your own custom monitor lua file to export the MFDs to the right location. Now, DCS unfortunately has an issue with display exports. They're darker than the one in the cockpit, so much so, it can be hard to use even the TAD in the Apache. The best workaround I can offer is to open the display calibration on Windows and raise your MFD monitor gamma until you get a similar image to that in-game, at the cost of blowing out the gamma for your desktop. Apache MFDs being so unique in DCS, it's a serious bonus to have a replica, making interactions with your systems far easier. In particular, selection of the acquisition source or menus, with the shortcuts provided, speed up an appreciable amount versus the mouse, reducing time that you spend not holding your HOTAS, which is especially valuable when you're flying a helicopter. Now attempting to use a 5x5 button frame like the Viper or Hornet just won't do the job by comparison. But sadly, also because it's unique, you're going to struggle to use it outside the Apache. There's no other included control profiles, but you could jury rig some keybinds for a 5x5 button MFD aircraft. The JF-17, being the most similar, works a little bit better if you don't mind the square squashed aspect ratio. Those without screens might want to consider somehow mounting the Thrustmaster frames inside the Apache ones. So it's very much a single purpose item for anyone who mains the Apache, and that's going to be the kicker. It's more expensive than the Thrustmaster or Wind Wing MFDs, and whilst higher quality than both, it is bespoke to the Apache, limiting your use cases making it a very niche item at a significant price, so I would not recommend it unless you are very heavily into flying the Apache. But when you do, oh it makes your life so much easier, and really enhances the experience of managing systems. Do you need it? No. But does it make life a whole load easier? Yes. I'd 100% recommend you consider it for the Apache enthusiasts looking to expand their setup. The panels come from Sweden, so remember to factor in shipping and import fees. Overall, I've got no serious complaints about the whole set. It feels higher quality than the competition and fills a niche in DCS cockpit simulation that's difficult to achieve without custom-made gear. And whilst I'd have liked to have seen an option for a tabletop stand, the heavy switch action size and the resulting leverage will make keeping it stable very difficult, so understandably it really does need to be mounted on something secure. 
The Total Controls Apache MFD set is a killer bit of kit for those who truly love the Apache and want to streamline their cockpit experience. Hope you've enjoyed, and take care.